Okay everyone, since the last time I made the video I've gone ahead and ordered the parts. I had to order this arm which I got in, this rubber gasket or ceiling portion and plus one of these roller bearings. I ordered them from a place called Alternative Machine Tools out of Wisconsin and I ordered them last weekend, got them in I think it was on Wednesday so extremely fast, very happy with their service. Came in right on, um, you know, price wasn't too bad. It was about $130 or so for this piece and about, whatever, 19 or so for the gasket and then the roller bearing. Right about the same. Uh, total price, I think, for all those parts was right around $150, $160. But the fact that they came in really quickly was a real nice bonus. So what I'm going to have to do is go ahead and put this thing back together and see if I can do this without having forgotten where the uh, parts go. If nothing else, I'll look back at the previous videos and put it together that way. Alright, one thing I'm going to have to do, or to start with, is go ahead and take this sleeve assembly off where the screws go into it. You can see it moves in there nice and freely. It's got a spot in there for oiling it. Make sure it pivots real well. And start putting it back together. Now you'll notice I've also got some plastic gloves on. Uh, part of it's to protect my hands a little bit. It's getting greasy and dirty, but also because I had gotten a pretty good bash on one of my fingers. And I don't need a bunch of grease and oil inside of where that cut is. It's an option. It's not necessarily a bad option at all for you to do. Start getting in the habit of doing that so if you can. You see a lot more people starting to do it today uh, to protect their hands. and I'm sure the wife would appreciate it a little bit not coming home with nasty greasy fingers. Alright, now that I've got the bearings back in place, I want to go ahead and stick this in there. Put these screws back in. Top one's in. Bottom one. I went ahead and put this boot on there. Alright, that's in a nice and tight. This would go in here. I need to make sure I'm going to be putting this on. This slides in. And move it. Punch out of the way. Pin out of the way. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and force that down inside and see where the hole is. Got to line it up. Now that I've driven the pin in, this is locked in place. I'm going to go ahead and do it is put the arm on and line it back up with the marks I had made. So tighten that back up.
looking like it's not completely lined up so I'm gonna have to go ahead take this off a little bit and reposition it what I'm trying to do is see if it's in once it looks to be in a neutral position with the arm in a neutral position see if I can crank this and what it's looking like is this isn't lined up as perpendicular as I would like so I'll go ahead and take this off rotate it over a bit and try that again Now I went ahead and moved it over just a couple degrees. There's a bunch of little notches or splines on this top part of this pin. So I moved it over basically one. So now it looks like it's nice and perpendicular, 90 degrees to the bed. And it's able to travel. Now that I've got this in place, I'm going to go ahead and put this bottom part of the housing on. What I want to be able to do is check that I have this adjusted right and I'm going to put it under a little bit of power before I close the front up. Yeah, some of this stuff may be common sense to the machinists and the rest of the people out there. Uh, as a amateur, I did not find anything as detailed as I would have liked. So hopefully this will give you a hand. If nothing else, maybe you'll learn from my mistakes. You can call me out on YouTube if you want on the mistakes I have made. Hopefully we'll both learn something or all of us will learn something. Go ahead and put these switches in place. Like me, try to be careful. I've already dropped these little spacers that sit on top of the screws three times now. Excuse my big head. All right, that's looking like it's hitting the contactors on that. So what I'm going to do, take these things together, the left, and the right. And plug this thing in 